Hello, good evening, everyone. This is Alamjeet Flora from the Wednesday Talk Show. Welcome to the show that you join every week at six o'clock. And thank you for always, uh, you know, being there. And it'll be even very nice that if you start writing to us from where you're joining. So it's very nice to see from where all our participants are joining, and it's always very exciting to connect with you. So uh, today we are going to be talking about medical yoga, and medical yoga is. of course a very i don't know it's it's actually a very old term but still new and this is just to show that how our old techniques are also very adaptable in today's world and also very effective when you don't want to take medicines so medical yoga can be a holistic is a holistic body and mind training that calms the mind and it increases the awareness and balances the body now this is what i know from google <laughs> as you can see but our expert today knows a lot more so you can ask her all your questions and get to know about this new field of medical yoga so we have with us today anshuta jadav she's joining us from india she's a holistic wellness coach she has done her diploma from yoga in yoga education from pune university she's a yoga wellness instructor and she's also you know has Uh, completed her diploma in medical yoga therapy she is a gold medalist in yoga so she is so much more and she is transforming so many lives so please welcome her today on the wednesday talk show yeah. hi anshita hello anandhi hi welcome to the wednesday talk show so glad to have you on this very new topic of ours again medical yoga so you know it's it's wonderful that we're going to chat with you who is you know if impacting so many lives there in india and uh, we are going to get so much knowledge from you today so thank you thank you thank you for joining us so you know before we begin uh, please tell us about yourself and your journey about medical yoga okay uh, see uh, as you introduce me i'm a holistic wellness coach so basically my uh, motto in life is that uh, i should be fit and i should see to it that people around me are also fit so from a very young age i was into fitness i wanted to be fit but yes i did not enjoy gym because yeah. i am not a gym kind of a person so i used to do walking and uh, play badminton hmm? something of that sort uh once what happens while playing badminton uh, that um, shuttle it fell on the floor and i just bent forward to pick it up mm-hmm. and at that time i don't know what happened huh? okay. i was perfectly normal before that but when i bent forward to pick it up i just couldn't come back to my original position Ooh. so i was like this only oh my god there was some catch or i don't know what happened but it was so painful i just couldn't come back to that straight position standing position mm-hmm. luckily for the club where i used to go and play badminton just next to that there was a hall where it, this medical yoga used to uh, be conducted so okay. we went over there and uh, thankfully sir was there and he treated me so okay. it took around 1 hour for that treatment mm-hmm. and after 1 hour i could walk i could drive back home okay. yes the pain was there i will not say that in one day i was perfectly 100% fine the pain yeah. was but there was a lot of improvement so i was very curious i felt good ki ek isme kaise ho gaya exactly so then i uh, went the next day and i asked him about medical yoga what is it how you are doing it what is like what are you what are you targeting at mm-hmm. and everything he explained me and i found it so interesting that without medicines without right any uh, you know surgical procedure or physiotherapy one thing he yeah. treated me so he, right. uh, i continued that treatment for around 3 months mm-hmm. took me 3 months to go come back to the actually the way i was to my original health Very. but in those 3 months uh, i saw a lot of people coming in for treatment so i came to know about their issues because we used to chat over there Yeah. and uh, and how i saw the transformation in them also the before and after effect of it yeah. and i was very uh, happy with it and, and then i said along i am i'm doing yoga but why not do this because mm-hmm. as we grow in age alangit what happens you know any small thing happens we rush to the doctor we take medicine yeah. 
right no matter how much you say that okay they are not they are very safe they don't have this and that still mm -hmm. it has some kind of effect it's not immediate long term right. you see some kind of you know negative effect on your life yes yeah. so i yeah. felt this therapy will help me and other people also hmm right to uh, get themselves treated without any medicine without any side effect yeah, and that's what we want practical yoga and one more thing even i was practicing yoga even while practicing yoga also we do get injured at yeah. times yes so medical yoga helped me in that way also how to take precaution when while doing any asana what to do and what not to do the basic right. anatomy the biology was taught so which helped me improve my yoga also true so true. that's how i uh, learned medical yoga wow what what that accident just transformed you and now you're yeah. transforming other lives that's a good journey that's a nice journey but you know my viewers must be wondering now what is medical yoga what is and should that talking about so please you know enlighten them that what are we saying what are we talking okay mm -hmm. now uh, i i will uh, explain it in a different way now if you are standing okay how do we stand now suppose these are legs this is the floor do we always stand with pressure equal pressure on both the legs not think really. about it think viewers also think about no at no. times what we do is we fold one leg yes hmm? now yes. this is the standing way if i fold yeah. my leg can you see this curve yeah over here yes this is straight and this i have folded my leg right so what happens a spinal column you know mm. it is bent to one side right huh? the muscles over here they are contracted here they are expanded Huh? Yeah. So along, uh, this is not a one-day transformation. You know, we had stand like this, even sitting posture, sleeping yeah. posture. After years of improper posture, yes, it starts affecting slowly our to our muscles, spinal column, our joints, and then right. one day we realize that oh, my knees are pain, paining, or I have sciatica, or my lumbar, uh, I have lumbar issue. my yeah. spinal column is uh, not in a proper uh, condition correct so it is not just one day thing it gradually happens so basically medical yoga is postural awareness and postural correction what we do is whatever alignment yeah okay is gone wrong in our body we just align it properly again okay that is medical yoga okay now uh, in in medical yoga we work on muscles we mm -hmm. work on bones we work on joints depending on the issue depending okay. on the uh, patient what problem that patient has and the best thing is that for that treatment we just need these ropes and belts okay. that is all okay so, so you use it for your body parts to use yeah so uh, whatever uh, we have different stretches mm -hmm. so depending on the patient's condition what has happened to that patient we treat accordingly so for every uh, health issue the treatment is different okay yeah so you know can anyone like there could be people from all ages having some or the other issue you know you were so young and then you have somebody who is very elderly cannot take too many medicines like you may be having people is it is it applicable to everyone or yeah uh, we had even national tests okay they were those of our kids uh, 16 17 age they used mm -hmm. to come to increase their flexibility so okay. we have that group also it also helps in increasing the flexibility. flexibility there are a lot of exercises that will increase your flexibility your stamina then um, even my mm -hmm. age your age even young people basically any any health issue it could okay. be cervical it could be frozen shoulder tennis elbow then numbness in the fingers then yeah. uh, lumbar issue sciatica okay. knee pain hip problem heel pain you name it and it can be treated okay the only thing is that if it is a last stage hmm then only then we cannot help the patient True. but if that patient comes before that last stage we can avoid surgery we avoid medicines and the patients they are very happy okay 
so how long does this process take it depends from case to case obviously i understand but are, are there like good results like quick results on any like tennis elbow for example okay uh it takes approximately 3 months to 6 mm-hmm. months depending upon your injury yeah. but you need to be patient for that every yeah. day the patient the people have to come every day they have to invest around 1 and 1/2 hours yeah every day for continuously 3 months at least on the lower side and after that we do tell them some stretches that they can do at home simple exercises that uh, can be done maybe in 30 minutes or so so right. that it won't again reoccur hmm. because that is very important we cure the patient the person that person goes home but reoccurrence yeah. is again an issue so True. that should not happen so by simple stretches simple exercises they will never if they practice they will never face a problem if they don't they'll come back to us i think this is a wonderful solution no medicines and you know having those complicated side effects you know just giving it your 3 months and you know being cure forever is a good deal so yes. yeah great and you know why is yoga you know considered better than taking medicines like we just spoke so uh, why do you why do people really opt for it of course one reason is you know avoiding medicines but is it really good like that good uh, you're talking about yoga or medical yoga medical yoga i'll talk medical yoga <clears throat> yeah uh see medicines as i said every medicine has some kind of side effect right okay then it also drains you the more medicines that you take it drains you and there is no guarantee that it will not reoccur now for example if we have a knee surgery you have a knee problem okay you get the surgery done first of all the stress of the surgery then yes. post operative uh, whatever measures precautions so yes. then physiotherapy so it's a long process it takes approximately 6 months right i'm talking only about knee so it takes approximately 6 months yes okay even after that there is no guarantee hmm. that that knee replacement the surgery yeah and it it's doesn't so painful. yes very so, painful so it's a uh, financial as well as emotional trauma on yes. both ends yes. Hmm? yes in medical yoga it is uh, reasonable it's not that expensive because we use ropes and belts okay, okay so it is not that expensive okay. and that there, there is no surgery so we are not putting any new uh, object in your body or mm-hmm. you are not removing anything in your body we are okay. just correcting the alignment correcting the joints the muscles okay and giving it back to you so mm-hmm. it is like you are giving like you get us a bike in which mm-hmm. there is some problem kuch to something has happened you know that yeah. that wire is not correct right so we just move those two wires and we give it back to you so it is as good as new wow so who wouldn't love that Yeah, who wouldn't? My mom had a surgery, and I know the pain she's gone through. And I wish I knew about you then. You know, it would have saved her so much of that pain. She had like six, seven months of uh, physiotherapy and that pain. It's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. And one very important effect is, um, of course, a patient does get cured, but. other feedback that uh, we get from the patient is that they feel very energetic they feel mm-hmm. very fresh yeah it is because the blood circulation throughout the improves. body it increases mm-hmm. the muscle strength it improves the flexibility improves so they feel very energetic they feel fresh so that is another uh, benefit of medical yoga yeah this is very so good I'm, actually yeah <laughs> my recommendation is before going for a surgery or before going to the doctor and taking any medicine try this once my yeah. guarantee you will not repent at all wow this is very good this is a very good alternative i think everyone should go for it like why go in for all those painful when you have something that can really cure you well exactly yeah so so do doctors also prescribe like uh, this kind of medical yoga do they prescribe it to people and why do you think they do that okay um, in pune at least i have not seen many doctors prescribing medical yoga because um, not many doctors are aware of it 
-hmm. They believe in physiotherapy. They know what is physiotherapy, how it works. But medical yeah. yoga, not many doctors are aware of it. So they don't recommend so much. Okay. And uh, plus it avoids surgery and medicines. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yes. So, so financially, it's not a good uh, thing to do. <laughs> We understand the, the financial part, yeah. <laughs> exactly. But the basic reason is that there is no awareness. Otherwise, I feel if they're aware of it, if they see the result, if they come to know about the therapy, if yes. they give us one chance yes. to show how yeah. we treat patients, then I think even they will suggest because after all, even <laughs> doctors, they want the benefit and the well-being of patients yes 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 for sure so for you sure can even work hand in hand everything doesn't have to lead to medicines or surgery absolutely absolutely i really they, hope that this comes yeah i really hope this message of yours reaches out to the doctors and viewers if you're listening and you have doctors in your uh, contacts please tell them about it so you know we can spread this word about medical yoga because Many people have lots of complications and a surgery can really complicate matters sometimes. Yeah. So if this you doesn't have, happen in medical yoga. Yeah. So when you have such a good, uh, you know, treatment available, you should avail it completely. So, you know, who can get benefited out of this, uh, out of medical yoga? And, you know, what, any examples you can share of uh, the treatments through this? Yeah, sure. See, as I told you, any any um, joint problem, muscle problem, yeah, okay, can be treated. If you right. start from here, cervical, frozen shoulder, tennis elbow, numbness in the fingers, you lose sensation in the fingers, or fingers at times they swell, or your yeah. hand at times you cannot lift. Yeah, it pains a lot. Yes, I have. So that. all those things, yeah. Then uh, any issue. In your spinal column, from top to bottom, any issue. Right. If the disc uh, space is reduced or if the uh, curvature is not there, if your spinal column has become absolutely straight, mm -hmm. that slip disc, sciatica, yes. hip joint problem. Yes. There is there is an issue of, with the hip joint, movement in the hip joint. Right. So that is also taken care of. Then knee issues. Knee problem. Yes. As I told you, knee surgery can be avoided. Heel pain. There are there are a lot of patients that come to us with heel pain. Heel pain, yes. It's it's yeah. very common, yeah. Yeah. So basically I'll tell you, uh Alamjit, heel pain is nothing uh normally if a patient goes and tells that okay, it's a heel pain, that part will only be treated. But here yeah. what we do is we look at the anatomy. And okay. then heel pain is the last thing. The issue starts from our lower back. Okay. Everything boils down to our spinal column. Everything is dependent on our spinal column. Okay. So if a patient from for heel pain comes to us, we treat from the lumbar area till the toes. Okay. So we, yeah. So uh, we see to it that it is cured from the root. It is not only the heel that is treated. Oh, we treat it from the root. Uh, I'll show you one example of cervical because yes. other stretches will need to be Okay. Now, yes. uh, let's assume that someone has cervical issue. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Normally, cervical issue is because, you know, when we keep looking like this a lot, then yeah, the space between the vertebra it increases or at times the vertebral column it becomes absolutely straight here yes. there is curvature if you see this curvature is gone right. so the vertebral here the cervical it becomes straight right. what we do is okay so cervical we just need these two belts okay I've just made a loop of this belt. Mm -hmm. I will put it over here. And I'll put it over here. And I will tighten it. All right. This is what I have done. Okay. Then I will just take this red belt. 
Mm -hmm. Now, what happens because of this is that my shoulder blades they open, yeah. scapula, it is retracted, and there is when you pull these red ropes, these belts, you can yeah. see that what, what is happening. Yes. Is of depression of scapula. Right. So when you pull this, it works over here. It works mm -hmm. for your frozen shoulder also. Very simple. Oh, very, yeah, actually, very nice. You showed it very well. And do you keep wearing this belt or you just do the technique of pulling and how, how do you? Yeah, we are, we can do it on the chair. So we tie this mm -hmm. uh, on the chairs and the patient, the person has to sit in that position for 15, 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Otherwise, what I showed you, at times, what happens, people cannot come. They stay far away. Right. So they cannot come to us for three months, six months. So what right. we do is we teach them. Come to us. Come for 10 days, 15 days. Learn from us. Yeah. And we will show it to you how you can do it on your own. At your place. That's so right. that you don't have to depend on me. Yeah. You are independent. Every time, don't depend on us. It is your body. You can take care of it. Right. I know that makes it very convenient and exactly. doable and motivated yeah, I, also. Otherwise, yeah. every day coming, people get demotivated sometimes. Yeah, and we, uh, at time people don't have that much time also. Yeah. Commuting exactly. time is a lot. And then one and a half hours every day. How yes. will they go for job or how will they manage their uh, other stuff? It Activities. is very difficult. And then they discontinue the treatment. Yeah. So we don't want that. Our mm -hmm. aim is that people should get treated without medicines and they should be independent okay. and once we treat them again that issue should never again occur in their life mm -hmm. so how so do you make sure about that how do you make sure that it doesn't occur do you constantly keep in touch with them or give them many exercises or what yeah um, the stretch that i showed you they mm -hmm. can do this stretch at home so for okay. every stretch we give them an option that if you don't have that structure, if you don't have the bench, if you don't have that chair, yeah. what you can do is you can stand, hold the uh, grill or mm -hmm. anything on the bar, yeah. uh, stand like that and just pull it from behind 20 pumps mm -hmm. so that it will work on your scapula, your uh, clavicle and your cervical. Do it 20 every day for three months. Okay. And after that, they just have to do some stretching exercises, which will take around 30 minutes. Okay. That's nice. But those exercises will be like, um, they have to do it very religiously, regularly, because they want to be fit. Yes. I know. And I think people will. Yeah. And this is what you showed just now. It just reminds me of spondylitis also. So does that work on spondylitis also? This Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Same stretch. This stretch works on lot of health issues. Good. Lot of issues. Okay. That's that's really nice. So for uh, cervical, we have three, four stretches like that. I have shown you only one stretch. Yes. So for every issue, health issue, we have few stretches. That's mm -hmm. the reason we take around one and a half hours. At least we tell the people, please come to us, take out one and a half hours, and we give that option. Don't depend on us. Learn okay. everything from us. Because and also Alamjit, if they come to us, they'll they have to pay something yeah. again coming and going also. Yes. It's expensive. But yeah. in 10 days, if you learn from us, you can do it on your own. The only yeah. expense is they have to buy these ropes and belts, which yeah. takes around 2,000 rupees, okay. which is nothing. And which this can be for them lifelong. I know. I know. And it's any day better than going into a surgery or anything like that. Exactly. So, yeah, now, so normally what is... I do whenever I go for yoga competition or anything, I always carry these belts because you never know what will happen. And yeah. these are very good for uh, stretches also. So okay. when we are doing warm up before the competition, I use these ropes and belts also to give that extra stretch. All right. That's nice. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm just 
putting in my question that even you know ladies at home now these belts are there are they available at uh, at any store or do we go and buy it from a specific store so that we um, can do something on yeah. our own honestly they are not available i have not seen on amazon i don't know okay. amazon and ikara i have not seen but okay. if anybody is interested i can give two or three uh, contact numbers oh great and they can okay. order it from there they can buy it from there okay that's good that's good to know yeah and they easily okay. available actually uh, those people from where whom mm-hmm. i bought, uh, mm-hmm. buy this they courier okay so that solves the problem yes yeah. okay that's that's very nice and how long you know uh, like we've already spoken but how long does it take to you know see these results of this pain and you know how long they need to continue of course it's from case to case yeah but um, uh, Hmm. but yeah. approximately 3 months average okay All yeah right. unless it is severe like uh, paralysis hmm okay if a patient okay. of paralysis comes then it takes around 1 uh, year hmm because it is okay. a severe case right. but other things knee issues hmm. uh, spinal column any issue from top to bottom heal okay. any anything else it takes approximately 3 months okay that's good that's fair 3 months is fair and yeah. i know <laughs> that's good so anshuda you also take lot of uh, you know uh, meditation classes and they are yeah. very famous i know that so <laughs> you know uh, you can tell us something more about the classes that you do because you do lot of techniques and that like i don't know what the names are you know better so can you tell us more about that okay um yeah i take pranayam and meditation yeah. classes yeah okay i don't teach yoga because yoga i, I don't believe in uh, learning it or teaching it online because i am personally i am not comfortable because unless and until i see the person the posture properly from every angle hmm i don't want to take that risk so yeah. i uh, opted only for pranayam and meditation and that too because um, i feel that there is a lot of stress yeah nowadays people show that they are happy we smile you know we smile we enjoy we party we shop we dress up we do everything but if you sit quietly for 2 minutes you will start thinking about lot of stuff which will not have good effect on you yeah that means unconsciously there are there's lot of uh, things and thoughts stuffed in your mind now you it is not possible to open up to people and share all the thoughts and it's not like you know you share and they are gone yeah they still remain over here True. so my aim for pranayam and meditation is that uh pranayam i will explain you pranayam pran yeah means the vital force or energy right and i am means the expansion of that energy yes hmm? now uh in pranayam we say that whatever we think okay our mind okay yeah our thoughts they depend on our breathing right if we are able to control our breath yeah we can control our thoughts right so if how nice if we can control our thoughts we will not let any stressful or uh, negative thoughts come in our mind our mind True. will be full of positivity so that is my aim when i am taking pranayam and meditation classes i want my students to feel very calm peaceful and i want them to be balanced no matter what situation comes in front of them they should be very balanced quiet think rationally and then act right. so in my pranayam session uh, it is for one hour but alamjit i don't take 10 and 15 pranayam in that one hour one after another i don't follow that okay. my aim is to calm their mind to make their uh, them stress free to remove all the tension right so i lo- i take a lot of time um you know making them feel that calmness i ask them and i see to it that they look into their mind into right. their body into their breath and see what is going on 
because we never take out time we apply yeah. makeup we dress up so on physical appearance we It's spend a lot good. of time but yeah. we never sweat that you know what is going on inside me that is very important and that is what i try with my students yeah it is not teaching only uh, you know pranayam kapal bhati bhasika along with that their mind after that one hour they should feel as if you have as if they have slept for the whole night after meditation they should feel wow yeah and so fresh and so energetic and they should feel calm that is my aim very nice i'm sure they are feeling uh, i can see so many people have uh, you know joined your classes also and here also we have uh, people i uh, have we have kirti she saying well said anuradha yeah. is also saying very well explained so we have saral gupta she saying wow saral has joined us from poland and oh, uh, wow. yeah so we Thank have you. sheetal we have lots of people anuradha again so great guys tell us from where you're joining it's always very nice to know from where our viewers are joining so please type in our comments box uh, which country you're joining us from so uh, thank you so much uh, anshuta for today you know you shared so nicely and you've enlightened me also uh, on lot of these uh, you know techniques it's really nice and uh, you know but i cannot leave you uh, without you sending a message to all our viewers so do you have something for us yeah first of all alamjit i would like to thank you for giving me this platform so that i could share what is medical yoga because i feel people should know and people should benefit from that because it's a beautiful miraculous th- uh, therapy right. and i want those who are watching this show or um, you know pl- watching the show please share it so that other people can know and if at all you are interested in learning or getting treated please do contact me i'll be more than happy to teach you how it works if you have if you have any issue please do share it with me and i would love to help you so yeah. nice so sweet and you can just see that passion in you and of course i think guys you should just join her and take all the benefits and she is right in pune i see lot of pune i is joining hi rekha so you know we can see lot of these people jo- uh, joining so you should guys uh, go and see anshuta and get treated from her and spread this word around so thank you so much anshuta for your time and being with us today thank you thank you so thank much thank you and thank you so much my viewers for patiently listening for what half an hour or whatever 45 minutes thank you so much yes we have saral who is going to contact you she says so yeah, yes yeah thank you saral do contact me if i yes. can be of any help i will definitely um yes. i would love viewers i would love to teach you this so that you can spread this or at least you can help your family members yeah you can so teach your I'm... family members so that everybody in your family can be healthy yeah very true and we definitely need this you know now in covid we've had so many vaccination and the booster and everything is happening i think you know we don't know where we are heading but this is definitely a very safe technique to adapt so i think we should yeah. go for it for sure and saral is attending your meditation workshop from poland and uh, she is oh. enjoying it she's saying so okay. <laughs> yeah So I will spread the word and thank you for joining our workshop. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for joining us today. It was wonderful Anshuta, you know, chatting with you and getting to know so much. So all the best to you. Keep changing lives and keep making people's life better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you guys for joining us today. We had this new topic once again, medical yoga, and we had Anshuta, you know, sharing so many tidbits uh, with us so generously. Next week we are going to be talking about cryptocurrency, and we are being joined by Pranav Patel. He is the CEO of Chanakya Anvikshiki Private Limited. So please join us. If you don't know about crypto, we'll tell you. So see you next week, and have a very good week, guys.